See button. It has been pressed. Oy, 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 oy. <coughs> Hello. I'm making a mess. Making my microphone do weird things tonight. <sighs> Hello, Chad. How are you? Why can't I get the thing that I'm looking for, Amazon? Ow. I'm looking for something. And it's surprisingly hard to find, which makes me puzzled. I am on the Honor server, as evidenced by the OG music being played. Alright, I need... To pick a character, uh, this character, actually I was not looking at Quicksilver except to find out how much crap he had on him. Um, <clears throat> hang on, I need to buy something off of Amazon real quick, but I just need to find the right one. That's ridiculous. Seriously. How is it you can go to your local Kroger and buy a bottle of shampoo that costs less than two dollars and the same damn thing costs seven bucks on Amazon uh, and that's actually at a 32% discount. I might have to actually go wander to my nearest Walmart to get this, which doesn't... And it's like, we have this new, this essential version that's like, half the bo the bottle size is like half the size, and it's the same price. I'm like, what the actual hell? And they want to charge like six something a container. I'm like, no. No, I don't want it that badly. I do not want it that badly. I will go to a real store and get it. It's all good. Anyhow. Alright. We are on Honor tonight. Because, as you can see, I have leveled to 135 on Honor. I have a goal to find out for sure for myself, despite what I have been told by um, Standing Stone Games. Like We've all been told by Standing Stone Games that there's no special rewards for... Um, hitting level cap or completing the epic story on Honor, they just kind of said, fuck it. <clears> oh, <throat> well, I, I don't think anybody actually said that. I just think they probably had better things to do with their time. But we still don't know why the hell they put Gundabad on Honor to begin with. We don't know. I honestly don't care. It's there. So I'm being a little bit perverse in that I want to get it just to say I did it. Uh, and if there's anything um, special there, I can let people know. Um, and my hair is still wet from having taken a shower less than an hour ago because I mowed the lawn. After a special stream this afternoon on the official, uh, I was running giveaways and dropping links in chat for MVP, my good and dear friend. Um, speaking of dropping links to MVP, give me a second. I need to drop a link to MVP. Um, <clears throat> look at this beautiful, sexy website, which I had very little to do with making. Let's get some playtime in. We're gonna work on the epic story. Now that I'm level 135, I should be able to pick up most of the epic. Actually, all of the epic, I believe. The entire epic has... The rest of the epic has a min level of 135. Um, 
If I want to pick up the raid, though, I have to be 140. Not that I'm actually going to raid here on Honor. I don't think there's any group that's going to be good enough to raid or quick enough to get geared enough to raid the Hidden Horde of Abnan Kara. But I would be then ready to raid on this character when I take her to Langevel, which will be her eventual destination. Noticing I'm a little bit cockeyed. Cause I'm, 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 for some reason, I'm scooched over here and I don't know why. <clears throat> okay. The part of the story where we left off, we were talking to the dwarves, to watching the goblin prisoner. We just took a frightened goblin prisoner. We want to find out what his role was. Um, sadly, yesterday on the official Stothkel, long-serving forge master of the Iron Garrison, was killed. Oh, man, that cold water is amazing. But we need caffeine. I need caffeine. So, caffeine. Apparently, the ice cream truck is passing through the neighborhood, and today they're playing for release again. At least I believe it is. Um. Let me see. Ba -ba -bum. I'm doing a thing real quick so I need to check something. Might as well put this in my work account. By work account, I mean my university work account. Because I have two work accounts. One of them, I'm not going to tell you, Belle, because I don't tell you where I work. However, everybody knows that I work for Signum University, so... Okay. Da, 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 dum. Anyhow, let's get some story done, shall we? All right, we're supposed to talk to the dwarves who watched the goblin prisoner. Um, I'm gonna. Ooh, you know what? I can do some tasks. I can do some tasks, chat. Give me some XP. Um, do I have... Oh, I don't have anything to turn in right now. Alas. Well, now I can turn in another... Um, Frost Rhyme Claws. Yeah, I could do one more of those. Hell yeah. There we go. That'll help. Got some XP. And yesterday, I did indeed get my as you can see over here I got my hobbit dance now I've got more things I can claim alright I'm about to get a uh, sealed chest of embers and pigments one thing I want to caution you about in case you're wondering any progress you make on the legendary track on another world does not carry over when you transfer your character 
So right now, because I've been screwing around on Honor more than I've been screwing around on uh, Landreval, reasons, uh, I actually have better progress here on Lan on uh, on Honor, and I'm going to lose that progress when I transfer to um, to Landy. But here's the, here's the thing. The LI reward track ends in three and a half days. I'm not transferring this character that soon, so I'm not too fussed about it. What I will do is I'll grind up as much as I can do. And then what will happen is I will take whatever rewards I can scare up and go there. And I gotta t tell something in, uh... I'm doing chicanery. Chicanery! Eskil prevailed upon the guards to spare this goblin's life, but I am less forgiving. Yeah, Trousty, I can understand that, but Eskel's a nice I third. know this goblin. He was my jailer when I was held captive. Glorkub. The axe! The axe! I knew it was important, I did. So what's really interesting is when I was listening to, uh, um, I believe it was Gorgar yesterday, I'm like, I know that voice actor. It sounds very much like the voice actor who does uh, hear some over in DDO. All right, you knew about the axe. Let's go. Do you suspect a trap as I do? It's a trap. Good. But let us see all the same. Okay. So one of the things is I do not currently show having. I do have an XP tome. What I'm going to do, however, is I'm going to save that XP tome until I'm done with the epic story as much as I can do. 
I'm gonna save it and then use it on a night when I'm just gonna shotgun Michigan. I might do that on stream, might not, I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna defeat the Hobgoblin Shoshraf in Shakajat, which is in that away. Um, we're gonna actually take the Stable Master up to the Pit of Stone Jaws, and we're going to go to Shakajat and kick somebody's ass. That sounds like fun to me. So we're just gonna be on regular Honor XP, which is slow AF. So I fully expect to uh, finish the epic story before I get to level 140 because there's just because even on a regular ser like on a regular server, I would finish the epic story at like 136, 137 without even trying. Um, Steel Master. Durin's folk shall endure, as we always have. have. So hope everybody's having a decent evening. I'm just chilling here on the Honor. Uh, gonna be streaming for just a few hours, and then I'm going to rest. Um, because I'm really tired, actually. Uh, modded the stream this afternoon for MVP. And then I went and mowed half of the lawn before it started sprinkling. And it's like, well, why didn't you continue to finish mowing the rest of the lawn? Well, for two reasons. One is the electric mower that I have is A, electric, and it's 100% against the rules, against the void, it'll void the warranty kind of deal, to, um, no, pop goblins there? That's strange. Maybe somebody's running, playing through here. Um, <clears throat> It's a very unwise thing to play with an electric lawnmower um, while it's raining out. Go figure that one out, right? It's a little bit different fighting these guys when they're blue to me and not, you know, um, orange like they were before. One of the things is, uh, depending on how far I get on the epic story, um, if we have some time to shotgun some missions toward the end of the stream, what I'll wind up doing is popping that XP tome and just running them as quick as I can. But one thing I noticed is when I was running stuff under level yesterday on the official, I had, like, quests. Like, you can see the quests are all orange to me. I was running quests um, that were red to me and fighting red mobs, and it was sometimes a little bit tough. I'm not gonna lie, because um, this character is not super geared out, and I don't want her to be necessarily. I got a bang on the door. Right in the nuts. Knock knock! Who's there? Avon lady calling. Man, I don't think any of you are old enough to remember when the Avon lady called. Durin's beard. He was telling the truth. All right. Let's go back to Merigrind. So I appreciate everyone he being here this evening. What did everybody have for supper? Uh, I had... Well, I had like a late lunch. Early supper. So I like took what I got for lunch and split in half and had some like as soon as I got it and then had some later when it had cooled down. This fried chicken from Kroger. Surprisingly, I have decided that I might just start doing my um, grocery store runs on Saturdays instead of Thursdays. Uh, it seems a little less crazy there uh, for some reason on Saturdays, which I always thought would be worse because Saturdays. But I'm probably what I'm thinking is it, oh, it's only going to be crazy on like you know major sporting event, you know like Super Bowls Saturday or whatever. Um,
But the other thing that I really noticed is the stelves. The, the stelves. The shelves were well better stocked, especially in the cat food section, than they are on Thursdays. And I don't know about you, but if you get the wrong food for your cat, your life is over because they will murder you. Or they will let you know of their displeasure in high form. Okay. <laughs> Let's go talk to Prince Durin north of Maragrin. So Prince Durin is hanging out at the cage. So this is actually a really cool twist of the story because we all pretty much were like, hmm, dragon speech. It's probably Hrimhill talking to Durin and causing all this trouble, right? That's what we think. That's what we suspect. But we're too too nice to the prince to say, you know, maybe... Plus the fact that he has a little bit of a hair temper, hair trigger temper when it comes to this. Prince Durin. Trousty has his axe again. Good. He's probably gonna need it. Alright, this man. Oof. Hoof is the name of the goat. I don't know why Hoof is the name of the goat. The default name. It was just as I said, wasn't it? Yes, it was. I can tell. I love the voice acting in this a game. Tale is a long one, yes. Some of it. Long and sad. But you oh. will hear it, yes. We always get to meet the in most interesting goblins. There's Vishnok, was like the, the highlight of um, Agronith in Mordor, because that's like the that's my least... Hmm. I'm not sure which is my least favorite part of Mordor. There's not much that I would say my favorite. But Vishnak was a little bit of a, a bright spot in Mordor content. Especially in Agronith. Alright. Session play time, kids. Let's go. I know some folks don't like session plays. Because they're so used to playing their own characters. Their own classes. And they do have difficulty playing other classes. But it's really a case of just looking to see what skills that you have and, you know, just figuring out how they would work in, um... They, they've made session plays, so, yeah, you can still fail them, but it takes some doing to do it now. <clears throat> I have email on my work account. Yes, I will, I will save that. I will click that button. Yes, that is me. I exist. Probably should use my student account, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh, I know I'm at remember how it all began. You remember how it all began. And the sad thing is it completely resets your UI and you get all of this crap. So I'm gonna ignore the blue bar. Don't let it freak you out, don't let it bother you, it's all good. It's just gonna stay there because this won't take too long anywho. Let me get my travel window out of the way. Move that down there. Click on that. I don't even know where my uh, thing is. Muzmok. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're on a dirty 30. We're gonna lag. Just so you know, we're gonna lag. You gonna betray me? That's what's gonna happen. You'll wish you had died. It's actually. 
let's listen to Bill's music because this is pretty cool. Listen to this. It's good, it's good shit. Also, if you know, if you didn't know this, you actually have an additional thing. Of my plans are good plans. Well, of course they are. So the skills we have is right slice, which looks like the champion sting skill. I'm sorry, the uh, guardian sting sting still. Um, backhand slash and jump cut. So we got some pretty good damage that we can do here if we need to. Lumbag, what a name, Lumbag. Of course it was a good plan. Somehow I'm managing to hit him without a weapon in my hand. survive the surprising strength of mighty Glukub. No, I didn't kill him. I just scared him a little. And it was enough. I need to talk to him. I'm gonna stand behind this guy. I'll let Lumbag stand in front. talk to you. You're nasty. Listen to this music. This is so this is so awesome. It wasn't a question. It was a command. Collect a shiny hammer. It was a hammer. A shiny hammer made of precious mithril. Mithril. I was rewarded for it. I became Gorgar's most trusted lieutenant. Well, that was his first mistake, wasn't it? It had been a good plan, but plans change. Mm hmm Yeah.
I'll answer his call for now. I could see which way the skull was rolling. I needed a new plan. <laughs> I like that. I can see which way the skull is, is rolling. That's so cool. That's a lovely turn of phrase. Oh, it's our friends! Drink the water of three peaks! An orc and three goblins walk into a bar. Actually, let's skip this part. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. Anyway. In time, we found ourselves far from the battle on a distant snow field. Look, where are we? Can't tell. of this conquest in his mind. He I do have to say this animation of Primhill is amazing. My dragon voice. Can it be? Follow me, my new subjects. Follow me to Gundabar and the final defeat of the dwarves. I told you, didn't I? Plans change. Sometimes, sometimes plans change. <laughs> Let's go back. <laughs> Boop. Waiting for the reload. <clears throat> it's been a little bit of a long day today. I did actually forget what day it was. I was like, is it Thursday? Is it Friday? Do I have a stream today? Oh no, not today. Oh, then it's definitely not Friday. Or Saturday. 
today is Saturday, right? Okay. I'm gonna turn my leafy feet back on. Turn that back on. Durin is pissed! Durin is seething! The lies of this goblin cannot be believed! I'm not sure. I, I, I love most of the voice acting in this game, but something about Durin just is off for me. Lies! All of them lies! I expected something a little bit more base. I'm not gonna kill him. The goblin is our prisoner, my prince. Yeah, Glowin. Helpless. A cage can be arranged for you as well, Glowin, and for all who speak against me. <laughs> coffee slogans. I see a lot of coffee slogans in. It cannot be true. It cannot. All right, a compulsion he shares. Oh, we both understood by the dragon's voice. What do you think, Glowin? My prince, I am sorry. If you deem my words worthy of punishment, I will not object. A thoughtful squeak. It is true. When Hrimil says time to jump, Gorgar says, How high you want. <laughs> All right, we can get the hammer back. Gorgar. Why would she forbid the mithril hammer in her presence? Hmm. The orcs may call it Lugrons, but to us, those high places are known as the Welkin Lofts. Alright, let's go to the Welkin Lofts. Woohoo! There's a couple of ways to get there. We're gonna take the way from uh, from the Cloven Gap. Why am I running when I can ride? I have a few coffee mugs, but I don't use most most mugs. I, honestly, I don't drink uh, from the tap too often um, directly. Uh, I will fill up a water bottle and stick it in the fridge. That's about it. Occasionally, if I want to use a coffee mug, I'll bring out my, my Lotro coffee mug from five years ago. Because that was one of the first pieces of swag that I got as a member of the stream team. So there have been people that have made 140 as of yesterday. I'm slow. I'm not too fussed about it. Okay, we actually want to go... Um, to... I want to go to... Bazan Manar. Bazan Manar. Do, 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 do. Bazan Manar. Do, 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 do. Bazan Manar. Do, 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 do. So you can also get to the Welkin Lofts from over here, actually. I'm actually tempted to go this way, because I've never actually gone this way up there. And I rarely pick up the Stable Master here at, at Felgat. You know, that might, that might be fun to go a different way for a change. So why don't we go from the outside and go to Grumbachath and actually ride our, uh, you know, we'll do it that way. Have you a moment? Yes, I has a moment. Like, my god. Post pictures? Oh, sweet. That'd be cool. The most recent picture I posted involved a certain kitty cat who perched himself right here and looked at me like, have you got tuna in your supper? I like tuna. Because I was eating um, tuna noodle casserole, which in my house 
uh, because I don't have a lot of the spices a lot of people have in their houses it was pretty plain but it filled the gut which is what I needed it to do I might have some uh, some kind of snack later tonight uh, because um, eating the last meal of the day at like four o'clock is probably not very wise and I'm already feeling like a little bit peckish so I might get a little something later but I don't know what yet let's avoid the shadow grims I'll follow the road and hang a left over once you pass this hill one thing one thing I just noticed by the way chat my war seed has 29,000 morale when the fuck did that happen What? No, seriously. When did my, my war steed get 29,000 morale? Where are we going? I, I, am I off the road? Yes, I'm off the road. I don't recall them boosting war steeds like ever. And I still have the OG bridle from back in the day. She's got a level 93 bridle. I mean, 29,000 morale ain't much, but I don't... The last time I remember looking at a Warsteed's morale, it was like 3,000 or 4,000 or something like that. Ooh, this is pretty. Hi, Orion. I'm sorry. Manel Makar. Manel the Gore, depending on which version you read. I like these plinths. These are much nicer than the asparagi. Okay, Felgod is behind me over this way. Where the banners are. So this is the actual first time I've ever been here on a character before. <laughs> Not even my main has been here. So that's interesting. Um, one thing I'm gonna have to do is come up with a new name for this character. She's gonna need a new name. Oh, that's right. The bridge is out. It's not too far. You know what? I'm gonna try to YOLO it just for giggles. I wanna see what happens. Let's go. Let's go! Almost! That was that was actually kind of funny. That was kind of funny. I almost made it. <laughs> kind of want to try it again and actually make sure I'm on the right-hand side. Oh, hey! Look! It's somebody who needs a ban. Yep, I'm going to try it again. Depends on which side of the bridge we're on. Except we're on the other side of the bridge now. That's unfortunate. Welp. So much for that idea. Alright. I got my leafy feet back on. Let's go kill some orcs. Since we're up here. Oh, the one near the Forsaken Inn? Yeah, I would do that one too a lot. That's not an orc. That's a big ass bear. Let's get down to the road. Mmm. Here, orcses! Those are some big ass bears. Snow pelt alpha. 
<clears throat> What's really funny is the last time I was taking, um... I was riding a low-level character near... No, I was actually riding a low-level character through the Vales of Anduin. And I forget why I was running a low-level character through there. And... I did the jump off the bridge of the Hattie Hunt. The Hattie Hunt? Or however you want to say The Hadro Hunt? It was fun. It was totally fun. Whoopsie, I didn't mean to do that. I'm being a hunter. You notice I don't say the the um, <clears throat> the slang version of what some people call hunters, and the one it rhymes with a slur because it rhymes with a slur. I choose not to say that word. Ooh, 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 ooh. Heart seeker. So I will have to come up with a new name for this character. Um, and I have a like a really awesome pile of names on uh, Landy. I might get rid of one of my older Lobi characters and reuse the name. I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided yet. I actually would need to take a look at my list of characters to see which one I might... <clears throat> oh, I found a pouch of colorful stones! A pocket full of stones, to quote David Gilmore. Da -da -da! How are we doing on our LR reward track? We are way up here. We're about to get our level 55, which means I'll get that sealed chest of figments and embers, which is nice that it's a sealed chest and doesn't auto grant. Because um, I need to spend it down my figments and my embers and particularly my moats and my ancient script before I transfer uh, my shared storage over because. Holy shit, I am getting maxed out on this server. Mm, that's what I get for playing the game. What? Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Okay, I do have a quest over at Felgot yes. that I can turn in real quick. So I'm going to go back to Felgot real quick. Our need is turn in done. the quest. And we're going to try to jump the bridge again. Because I'm that... Oh, Wow. This is the first time on any of my characters that I've completed opening up all of the Gundabad uh, Stable Masters. Because I never got Felgod on my main, so I'll need to do that at some point. My main is currently... I don't know where she is. I went back and started doing old content on her, and I kind of lost track of the catch-up completion. Because I used to do that on Monday nights. I stream on Mondays, but... Now that I work on Mondays again, it's n it's not really convenient for me to work 10-hour shift and... You're back to the past Thank and you. To the wind. Hell yeah. You come to this high peak, I'm not gonna do your quest yet, day. sir. I'll come back and do them. Let's go, let's go jump it again. Let's try again. Let us try again in full force and full vigor. Alright. <clears throat> Let's go! Oh man, still can't make it. Hmm. I I I wonder. I really do wonder. But we're not going to piss around with it anymore. We have a quest to do. We need to go to the summit of the southeast heights of the Welkin Lofts. Oh, sadly, there's no deed for trying to jump that bridge. So 
Sometimes I wonder why they put the red circles where they put them. It's like, why is it even there? Because you have to, like, fall down the cliff to go anywhere afterwards. Hmm. Let's go find the path they're talking about. That was a way to help. Yep, we're gonna go to this path until we follow it to the end. Let's go! And there may be a yeeting opportunity here in a minute. We might yeet. So apparently, there has been a debate. I, I, I'm amu highly amused that I started this debate. Accidentally. Uh, in that, what is the past tense of the word yeet? I've always said it and heard it as yeeted. Like, sheeted. Or, um, greeted. To greet, then you greeted somebody. You yeet, and then you yeeted somebody. Right? That makes sense to me. And everybody I've heard, particularly young people who came up with this word to begin with, have all used the word yeeted in my presence. However, Professor Corey was like, yeeted is such a weak sauce word and there should be a better past tense for form of it. And he came up with yote to rhyme with smote. Oh, something's chasing me! Ah, oh, I just love this. This is so pretty. Alright, we are not eating just yet, because we have quests to do. Alright, we've seen the vista. Not to be confused with windows. XP, or Windows 7, or Windows 8. Sorry, Professor, no. <laughs> so I put a poll on Twitter asking which should it be, right? I love that statue. Can I get one of those for my house? That would be so amazing. Instead of the big gold ones, I'd take one of these big blue ones. Because the rock is blue, and then it's really made even cooler by having the snow on it. Yes, and snow one. Find a hiding place nearby, right here. Yeah. Oh man, we gotta go back to talk to Durin. You know what? How many mythical coin do I still have? Hang on here. I have one mithril coin. Oh my goodness. I'm actually going to not use it now. There, there's gonna be a point in the story where I'm going to want to use a mithril coin. I don't want to buy any more. We'll go back down the hill. You know what we'll do? No. No, chat. Let's go! We're going to yeet! Wee! <laughs> That's so much fun. That is so much fun. And we're back to where we were. However, we can just go to get back to Merigrin pretty easily. We'll travel to Vernozel. Vernozel. Uh, I'm also reminded I need to go see if there's an update to travel window on Lotro Interface. Lotro Interface. Because I just installed the new copy of the JRR skins. Um, but... <clears throat> so let me search uh, travel window uh, new icon for travel window the most recent version of it let's sort by date most recent version of travel window mm, that can't be right Um, 
Travel Window 2 was back in, it looks like, May 29th. So, let me get the updated version of that real quick. I'm going to download that and install it. I won't be able to actually start using it until uh, I restart the client, which I'm not going to do immediately, but... Okay, copy that into the Locho folder. Go to the Locho folder and put that in my plugins folder. Replace the files in the destination. Thank you very kindly. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I should probably also look for new updates to any of my other uh, plugins, because I haven't updated plugins in forever. In forever! The sun will come out forever. Alright, let's go back to Merigrin and go talk to Durin, who's super salty right now. He might as well be a video gamer. Let me know if the music is too, too loud, because I did turn it up to listen to the music in that instance. And some of the horn, some of the brass can get a little bit loud. So. But I love Bill Champagne's work as the composer of Lotro from Mordor onwards. Where am I going? I'm going to Marigrin. It's under M for Michael. Duh. Riding those boards looks super painful. Follow me, you're gonna die. Just saying. <laughs> I still need to do this content on a dwarf, just so see if it hits said. differently. Then we will proceed with the plan. Already told the important dwarf I agree to the plan. All right. I have to turn this down. I love Bill's music, but it is a little bit loud. There we go. I can't hear the voice acting. Well, I could turn up the voice acting, right? Hmm. All right, let's do this, and I'll get a bracelet. And as you can see, there's definitely going to be an upgrade to my uh, Minus Morgul bracelet. All right. A threat of free, a theft of freedom. Let's go. Time to go. Yes, time to go. Don't want to be late. Don't want to be late. Late for an important date. Mm. I do not know if we can trust him. If we cannot, there are none better than you to endure the possibility of betrayal and triumph. Oh, I gotta talk to him first. First of all, he has to spawn in. Are we on a dirty 30? Nope, we're on 22, so we should be okay. The Heidi spot. Doesn't look very safe, I'm just saying.
Meow. We get Glurquib's theme as well, which is one of my favorites. Don't say that in his hearing. That does not sound like a very wise thing to do. What should be the password? Hmm. I'm gonna go chill north wind. Because Caves Dank and Deep sound like something he'd want. I say that. I say so. But I still need to find a good name for this character. He's trying to eat a bug. Level in your baby lore master, uh huh. I will be leveling a baby lore master soon. Next month, when we can all make hobby lore masters! And you were there when MVP revealed the current status of Hobbit Lore Masters on his stream on the official today. We were wondering, do the Lore Master staves scale to the height of Hobbits? And he said they currently do. I thought that was really cool. And then he said that the, that the pets do not. And I'm like, that's also cool. I'm like, why can't the Hobbits use their, their Lore Master pets as, uh... As mounts, that would be so cool. Riding a bog lurker into battle. Come on! How how can that not be cool? Little itty bitty hobbit! Huge freaking bear! It's gonna be amazing if they keep that process there. <clears throat> but again, it's still not even on bull roar yet, so we don't know how it's gonna turn out.
Do they even really have the word castle in, in Lord of the Rings? I don't recall castle being a word. Keep, we've seen that all over the place. Got him. Why are you letting... Why am I letting him pick the damn hammer up? This does not sound like a great idea. This does not sound like the smartest of ideas. Letting the freaking goblin that you don't trust with the hammer. They, oh, he gave it up. Oh, man. I want one of those. I want that as a cosmetic hammer. I think you can get it. I forget how. However, we're going to see you out of here. So it makes me wonder, though, if somebody who wasn't, like, if he's living all by himself somewhere, minding his own damn business, would it be possible that somebody would try to kill him just because he's an, a goblin? Hey, Glowin. Where Rendy's with the Risa for 34 months. Almost three damn years. Oh my god. Honestly, when I saw Louis here, I knew you would be here soon. Because y'all are like peas in a pod. I did not want to hear the words of Luacol. Well, you've heard them. Suck it up, Cupcake. If Freemil fears this hammer, I would see the chamber from where it came. Oh, yeah. Alright, this is gonna replace the 405. Which is that one. Watch my stats go up! Whoosh. Nice. Alright, we'll accept your quest and go return to Zul Mazal. Let's go to the Pit of the Stone Jaws, shall we? And we're ignoring Prince Ingor. I have a moment for you. Do you have a moment for me to let me borrow a very painful boar? As opposed to me, the very painful boar. <laughs> Appreciate y'all being here this evening. We're just having a nice chill stream playing on the Honor server because Standing Stone has told us there aren't any cool rewards for finishing the epic or hitting level cap. But honestly, I feel like I should. I, I just feel like that I would not have completed the Honor journey if I didn't complete the epic story or made it to max level on the way out, right? That would just not seem right to me. That also makes me wonder uh, when Shadowfax will be taking its turn to fade into the sunset because it seems like the way they're doing things is... They're taking the the legendary worlds, if they're not Ithil, because Ithil had a staffing, well, it had a problem, is once, I mean, Anor made it to, to 160, or 160, 140. So it made it to the current live level cap, the current regular level cap, which is an impressive feat, you might, you know, because when did Anor first come out? A long time ago. 
Um, <clears throat> and it came out with Ithel because they quickly launched Ithel because they realized Honor wasn't big enough. And then, as expected, Honor wound up being big enough. <clears throat> You got me! Run away! I will shoot you. Little bat! Twinkle, twinkle, little bat! How I wonder where you're at! Alright, let's continue on my journey that you so rudely interrupted! On the corner. Mm -hmm. I do love the, the crystals up in here. So I think the Pit of the Stone Jaws is almost my favorite zone here. I mean, in terms of appearance, it's definitely my favorite. In terms of trying to navigate with all these mobs, not so much. Hey, Broen, I got something for you! Fostrith was delighted by the gift. Thank <coughs> you again for collecting those stones. Because <clears throat> Broen's got... Ah, welcome back to Zul Mazar. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's you again. Let's do what it. What purpose was this room constructed? It's a dwarf secret. Will you help me uncover this secret? Yep. We will do that. Then let us begin. This chamber will reveal its secrets to me. Oh, yes. Together it will. we will learn what secrets lie hidden within the walls of this chamber. This must be where Glorkul found the Mithril Hammer. Let us return it for now, and see if anything reveals itself. Nothing? I thought I heard a sound. Must be something else, my prince. Yeah, Bozy. If returning <clears throat> the hammer was sufficient, the goblin would have seen it. Ah, well spotted, Bozy. But what else must be done? Perhaps. The mosaic must be intact. Fostrith is a smart one. I suppose it is possible. There is some enchantment here. You are in luck, Prince Durin. But the work of the first crafter who made the dwarves. Now, for those who know your lore, Auli spelled a umlaut u l e no actually the umlaut was on the e at the end auli was the one who made the dwarves but why does elotro refer to him as the first crafter because he was never named in the lord of the rings the hobbit or the appendices much like tolkus or manwe standing stone has no rights to use those names because they're not in those books so they they came up with a, a euphemism. They called him the first crafter, uh, much like they refer to Manwe or even Eru as the Elder King. But 
Other of the Valar have been named in the books, such as Orome, uh, Varda twice, uh, Varda and Elbereth. So, hmm. Hi, kitty thief. Meow. Meow. Wanna come here? I don't have tuna. I could have tuna. I bought tuna today. You can't have it. It's my tuna. No. I did buy tuna today because it was on sale. Meow. I booped his nosy. Come here. Where it is just resub. Has your remote, so you have to come and say hi. Yes. He's a thief kitty. He has a purr. What are you doing? What are you doing, you butthead? Alright. Lay down. Lay down. I got you. Oh. Do you want cuddles? Do you want cuddles? Sure, just don't knock anything off my desk. That'd be nice. Don't knock my soda can over. Oh, he gets chin tickles. He is so happy. He is so happy. Come on. Hold still. Come, Fostrith. You will help me assemble the mosaic. First, let us remove the stones so we can begin fresh. All right. Carefully, carefully. This is delicate work. Over here, and over here. My prince, do you hear something? I do! Hobgoblins! Protect Stolly and Fostrit! They must finish the mosaic! What a work of art! Oh, I have a kitty. Behold, the death of Mozog the traitor, my prince. But nothing happens. Perhaps this was not the key. Are you certain the mosaic is complete, Stolly? Of course I'm certain. Am I certain? <laughs> of course I am. How else could it look? Well, I wonder. I got your tail. I got your tail. I'm hitting you with your own tail. <laughs> He's a cuddle bug. I think we need to start over. I have had an idea. What? Ah, when does the master heed the words of his apprentice? When the master's not an idiot. 
When he is commanded to do so by his prince, perhaps? Oh. <laughs> Aye, uh, perhaps then. He has a purr. We will clear the stones and begin anew. You see, we start like so. And then, a little more. Yes, this is coming along. I think I hear the hobgoblins return. What are you doing? Boop. All right, you got to go because I've got to kill hobgoblins. Are you okay with that? I don't think he's okay with that. I've got to cuddle the kitty first. Cuddling the kitty comes first. Look at this butthead. Look at this butthead. What? Give her. I think the picture is complete. That was my microphone, kitty. But what does it show? I don't understand. Lotzog and Durin were friends before they were foes. Perhaps. A secret passage. That Frost apparently opens right. itself. That was the key. Of course, Frost was the right. He's not stupid. All righty then. Let us see what there is to see. How long has this secret stair remained hidden? And where does it lead? There is, by the way, an Easter egg down in this area, if you didn't know. Wanna go want me to go show you? My breath is stolen away by the sight of this cavern. You'll meet me at the bottom of the stairs. big this space is again with the huge honking spaces in Gundabad. But it's so pretty. This honestly was more like what I would would have imagined the glittering caves to be like in uh, in Rohan once uh, Gimli and his folk made their changes to you know make it into a dwarf uh, site. With of course the permission of Aomer King. So there is something cool here in the basement, deep beneath Gundabad. Uh, but you have to ride along um, some of the paths here. Because this is the same space... Ah, the same overall space that they've used for other caves in the game world. 
Um, some of them, a little bit as pretty as this, but, you know, the actual... That's one thing I, I've noticed a lot of video games do, is once they make a, a cave, they make it as a template, and then they just reuse the template uh, and just dress it up with whatever they need. Because, honestly, that does save a crap ton of time, and I have no problem with them doing that. Um, everybody does time-saving things in their job and in, in real life, so bitching about, you know... No, they just reskin this game. They're so lazy. Bullshit. Just bullshit. So I'm, I'm ignoring the path of the quest because we're gonna go look for something. Scenario put an Easter egg down here for those who decided they wanted to go exploring in this cave instead of actually doing the quest. Because basically the quest happens all over there along that wall, and then there's this big, huge honking space of nothing. Like, you can look in here, and there's no map for it. And <clears throat> if you go follow these paths, you will find... Uh, and I think in the um, the main map that uses the same space, but just dressed up to look differently, it's in Mordor, has the same Easter egg in the same place. So we just need to find it. So we're going to go find the Easter egg real quick. And we'll continue our story, shall we? I just don't remember exactly where it is. It's not back there. <clears throat> I probably wouldn't bother with this, except, you know, you can swim in this, you know, I can ride in this area. So I don't think we can go anywhere over here. That's yeah, pretty... No, no. Is, is there a path? No, there is. Yeah, there is. Actually. Wasn't that the path we just... Mm. So, where are we going? We're going this way. <clears throat> This is how freaking huge this space is, right? But there is a place you can get to at the end of these trails. Happy trails to you. I think it's actually up here. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe! Yeah. So, this is part of the Easter egg. It's like, why is there food down here? I'm not sure about those bowls. But anyway, you go up this path. And you'll find something cool. You'll go as far as you can go, and then you'll find something behind the things. You can't target them. You can't do anything with them. This is Scenario's idea of an Easter egg. Three giant sleeping cave claws. That's it. That's all they're there for. I'm not sure what the meal, what the this is all about. That might be for the other zone that uses the same map. Alright. I don't think there's one up this way either. Meow. Why are you meowing? Why are you having a howl, thief? He is such a poor neglected kid, eh? Meow. Yeah, it's Scenario's idea of a joke. It's literally... Yeah, mm-hmm. That's his personal Easter egg. Let's get back to the quest, shall we? 
We'll take the, the scenic way to get there. Wow. I have a kitty. I have a kitty. So if you are um, hanging out in the uh, Deco de Mil Deco de um, a Discord on Friday at noon Eastern Daylight Time, I believe it's going to be, uh, Scenario and Orion will be doing a housing-related uh, Q&A with the community. And if you're in Germany, or can get to Germany, uh, for Gamescom on the 25th in two weeks, Standing Stone, well, less than two weeks, Standing Stone is going to be doing a player meet and greet uh, in some random hotel bar and restaurant. Hi, kitty. Why are you waggling your tail back and forth like that? Why, Thief Kitty? Why? All right, we're back on the path. Got your tail. I got your tail. Hi, Prince Durin. All right. We're back on our ship. What are you doing, kitty? Oh, uh oh. He's tucking his feet under. He's tucking his paw. Like, you know when cats, they, they put their paws under their leg, you know, when they curl up, and then they put their paws under. He just did that. So he's, he's settling for a nice long snooze. What is this place? The statue of Mozart the traitor, who led the Grey Mulligans during the Deathless in the first stage. <clears throat> and this is where shit's about to get weird. I cannot believe a traitor such as Mozart would be given the dignity of a tomb. Beneath the mountain home, no less. Sounds like the start of a horror movie. Well, you've seen some of them before, Ski. I mean, you've seen Cord and uh, and Severlin on streams. And if you, you know, have been watching streams long enough, you may have seen Pinion on the stream. Uh, but the rest of them, yeah, they haven't been on streams before. I've met them all. They're really nice people. And, of course, Chris Pearson. For some reason, I keep forgetting that he's going. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. Would you? Would you kindly move? Would you? Yeah. Would, would you move and stop knocking my microphone around? <clears throat> Meet them at the bottom of the stairs outside, which is the NPC version of... What? Ah! The statue looks so lifelike. Except he has no beard. I'm scared. Hold me. I get some boots. Hell yeah. My first boots since Minus Morgul. Oops, sorry. My bad. Something is not right. I say again, show yourself to us, villain. Only cowards hide behind such a veil of deception. The statue of the traitor is so lifelike. Is this a tomb? I can almost hear him. But how can I know the sound of the traitor's words? Dun dun dun! The bearer of that voice died long ago. So did you. Many times. And yet, I am put in mind of the anvil of Winterstith, and of a voice that spoke through the ice. It spoke of dwarves long dead, and of great deeds. It was the voice of a dwarf, not a dragon. 
It was the voice of a friend, courteous, but stern. It was I who spoke to you, Durin, my friend. The fuck? Feral sorcery! Explain yourself, villain! Sorcery, aye, but not of the sort you fear. This is the work of the first crafter. Lies! I would not speak falsely to you, Durin, my friend. And yet you bear the visage of Mozart the traitor! How do you know my name? I know you for my friend Durin, for I have seen you in all your guises during my long sleep. Your outward form does not hide you from the sight of my dream. You say you know me. So too do I know you, Mozog the traitor, leader of the Grey Malls, father of treachery. Why should I trust your words? I have seen much you have forgotten. I will show these sights to you, that you may remember them. What do you think? I'm gonna say I was there. I'm a high elf, I'm kind of old. My character's from Gondolin, at the very least, if not older than that. See, then, what you have forgotten. Moria. Oh, shit! Nafni, run! Every dwarf knows the tale, but this vision is so lifelike. That was pretty cool. So weird seeing a dwarven face that has no beard. During the feast, slayer of the dragon Sauron. So you were, and yet. The dragon was also your end. Does it always end thus? <coughs> this was a super cool bit of story. Oh, hey! Here's another Durin! My character slept through this. Durin the Fourth came to the aid of the Last Alliance in distant Mordor. How 
How is it you beheld this? The first crafter gave to me the dream in sight. I have seen all your victories and all your defeats. Sauron waged his war upon Eregion. Durin the Third fought well and bravely. Did he not? Many were the glorious deeds you accomplished in that war, my friend. Look how it looks when it's pristine with the Holland Gate. But this was the last. Retreating into Casa Doom and sealing the doors. But the dwarves survived. The king did what needed to be done. Going back to the second Dovin. Ah, the body Durin being. the second ruled in Gundabad. Would that I could have seen it at its height. You are seeing it now at its height, you Dingleberry. But you did, my friend. Can you not see yourself behind the guise of each ruler I have shown to you? Here it was that you offered Gundabad to the Jeruka. Stop! Stop these visions! Put an end to this nonsense! Good times. I am shaken, I confess it. Yeah, let's go take a look at the boots. I'm sorry, the shoes. The boots, which I'll be getting, and then the sabatons. I'm gonna pick some boots up. I will not be swayed by honeyed words from an enemy's tongue. Do you deny your treachery? Well, no, he's not gonna deny it. Put on our new boots while we're at it. I do not deny it. Dorian, who was once my friend. Let's tell the true story of what happened back then. Once seen. It was by the Miramir that Durin's heart dwelt evermore. When he went there to live, it was I, Motsok. He left to rule Gundabad in his name. By the way, Durin the First is like my favorite Durin because, like, you know, Durin the Deathless. Because, look, look how amazing that beard is. Also, the crown is amazing, the outfit's amazing, and it's blue. Come on. Of course I'm gonna like it. So, Durin the Deathless is my favorite Durin. Sorry, Durin the Red here. We had fought side by side against the creatures of Morgoth for many years. But it is as I said, his heart was captured by the lands he saw a wandering.
But I had not, and I did not. It's true, Silver. Of course he wouldn't be lying about it. If you just come and look at it, you would have basically averted disaster and treachery and weird chicanery. <laughs> and Doran's like, Not all of the Longbeards chose to follow Durin to the shore of Keled Zaram. at this time that a party of elves tarried in Gundabad. Their weapons shone with a brilliant luster, and all could see they were wrought of true silver. Bad things are about to happen here at the Circle K. I had need of the true silver to fuel my war against the orcs and trolls. Was Mithril not the domain of dwarves alone? No. Here it was in the hands of elves. Your son did a stupid. I claimed the mithril weapons of the elves for my people. I had them reforged into seven great war hammers. There's four elves and suddenly seven dwarf hammers. That's a lot of freaking mithril. He noticed there were seven. So too did I reforge my people. What once were long beards became something new. We became the Grey Moles, and I the King of Gundabad.
Lose all of it to us. I spoke boldly, but I feared the armies of Durin. Yeah, and well, you should have done. What secret paths into Gundabad might you know that I did not? I ordered the creation of a mighty golden city in the mountains. And this is Beatrice Zahar. We've been here before. Notice how they put his son Motog in black and red. By the way, his beard is magnificent. Uh-oh, here's where it gets really bad. <clears throat> I see now that my son Mordvitz was possessed of a wicked heart. But I heeded his words as I should not have done. Gums! Gums, how you doing, sir? What you up to? Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Packed up a kin house on Honor. Very sad. I still have to pack up my kin house and sell it. I haven't done it yet. I deny nothing. Mm hmm. Join the Hounds in DDO. What level are you, Gumps? Uh, I died in Hayton's Rest because I'm lame. I might try it again, but I haven't decided what build I want to try now that the Hounds have been a little bit more friendly. These crimes are unforgivable. Finish your tale, Mozog, and be done with it. I speak not of deserving, my friend. Just level 9 holding two levels in Isle of Dread now? Nice. I have not played through anything in Isle of Dread yet. Okay, I played, like, a quest. I think I played a single quest. Maybe two. Um, but... I've been waiting for my rogue buddy to get to 30 so we can go run it together. But he's a busy boy. Alrighty. So what build are you running, Gumps? This was the plan of Durin. You want the hound the pet? Yeah, that's the only thing that I would want. For him. It began with his surrender. Are you uh, running everything on Elite to get the favor, or are you running it safe on Normal? Warlock, ooh. How are you doing traps? Uh, are you, you got a trapper, or are you just getting trapper or rogue hires? 
Are you running solo? <clears throat> So I know a lot of folks are just basically running everything as quickly as they can because um, if you do that, then the hounds don't appear. But I can't zerg the game that quickly. I think what build I'm probably running on hard this one, don't feel it. Yeah. I think what I'm probably going to wind up doing is... Whatever build I use will have two levels of rogue, so I can get evasion. I am king of the dwarves. You've been using Frogo. Oof. Frago is only good to like what level seven or so. Is he doing okay when you're running level nine? I mean, he was okay when I was running like level fourteen or whatever, but that was in like the anniversary uh, version of uh, uh, Party Crashers. In this moment of triumph. My Grimal saw not the danger. An army came by secret paths to free their captive king. Hell yeah. <clears throat> and she's the best thing ever! Look at her, Ragna the Fierce. She's the queen. Look at that. The sword through her hair. Like a bun. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. There's a lot of stairs here. <clears throat> Where do these stairs go? They go up. Yeah, Frogo, yeah. You're gonna have problems with Frogo from now on, I think. Longbeard fought Greymall and Orc in the heights of Biris Sahar, and the lanes ran with blood. I know of your crimes, Mozog. But you know not of this, Durin, for it was known only to few. Nine great dragons swept out of the northern skies, raining fire upon the mountainside. The orcs turned their swords upon Longbeard and Greymall alike. A fang feasted upon dwarves that day. How many great warriors died to Thorog's claws in Pirisahar? I cannot say. But 
dragons were not the only evils sent by Sauron to my city. It was the Lagron called Ascadors, wreathed in shadow and flame. You were not allies, you were fools. and itself was sundered. The flame of Azkadur's was quenched, and he fled. We suffered grievous losses, but so too did Sauron. Five dragons were slain at our hands. Yeah! Those that escaped would cower in fear of our weapons forevermore. And so concluded the Sunder battle, and with it, the Greymaw Rebellion. I was defeated, but the dwarves survived. Hapu! Hello! All right, get a tracery. Dory knows the rest of the tale. It is not for me to tell. Oh, hell yeah, that's gonna be an upgrade. I'll take it. Hmm, which ring should I replace, though? I would think the 117. But tactical mitts versus physical mastery makes me sad. Is this some trick? This is the cool bit when Durin awakens. Here, then, the end of the tale, as I know it to be. And this is all really, really good stuff, the but this is. Ended, but there were tears still to shed. This is where it got like, hello.
I held the axe that would end your life, Mozart. Even now, I can feel the weight of it in my hand. I remember the tears on my face. Tears so bitter, they burned holes in my armor. So many of our people slain. I love it when they do that. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Longer than a hand's breadth? So like this long? Or a hand's breadth like this, that like this long. That's still a very short beard for a dwarf. I am not a dwarf main, but damn this story made me feel. of the Greymoor Rebellion were never forgotten, but Mozog himself disappeared into legend. My only friend in those days, Durin, as you had been in the beginning. None others visited in my solitude. And that was just. Thank you for the raid, SMTM. And thank you for the follow, Hasbro Jiggles. Appreciate you. Playing an elf in a dwarven storyline. I really need to play this as a dwarf to see how it hits. I really do. I don't have a dwarf ready to play Gundabad, though. On my last visit, I found that you had entered a deep slumber from which you would not wake. Because the first crafter did some chicanery. Sleep well, <clears throat> my enemy and my friend. I wish for you pleasant dreams. What do I think about the new right? Uh, they show you that our people live on and are strong. Oh, new <gasps> Oh my god! 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 Oh
my god. Farewell, Mozart. <clears throat> yeah, I'm so looking forward to the series. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good! I mostly trust that Professor Cory. Not at the time, but the first crafter heard my words. He gave to you the dreaming sight to last until I returned and awakened you. Aww. Now the statue is back to a statue. Well, Mozart's right there. <clears throat> and now I have. Many lives later. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to the series. It's going to be awesome, in my opinion. Um, and I trust Professor Corey, having he has met the showrunners. He believes they are our people and will be respectful. And uh, I think most of the fears and worries that people have are going to be not justified. Um, and I think the folks who are going to be the most adamant against this series, there's nothing that's going to convince them to like it or whatever. So I'm just not going to worry about what folks like that have to say or think or do. And I'm just going to watch it and enjoy it on, on its own terms. Because it's like any adaptation. Uh, it's not going to be the exact same as it's on the printed page. And it can't be. Because uh, that's the nature of adaptation. So, um... There's, there's not much that's really going to make me go like, wait a minute, what? Um, beyond if they do something dumb like have the the Harfoots show up in with like the Numenorians or something. It's like, why would, it, why would the Numenorians run across the Harfoots? Because, I mean, that's one of the few lore points that we know about hobbits in the Second Age is um, they never ran into anybody else. Pretty much they were pretty much off camera doing their own thing. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I, and what's really funny is people are like, oh my god, there, there were no hobbits in the Second Age. And I'm like, okay, did you read the very first word of the sentence of the prologue um, in Fellowship of the Ring? It said hobbits are an ancient people. Right there. Done. Um, so it, it's just going to be a question of, of seeing how they tell the story. We you simply do not know enough to judge whether the story is good, bad, or indifferent. We'll see. Uh, and we get to see in just three weeks. Two weeks. Actually, September 2nd is two weeks from now. Holy shit. Isn't it? Let me check my calendar. Uh, well, three weeks from yesterday. So, uh, Which means it's probably going to air um, that Thursday night. Which means I'm staying up for sure until I watch it. Because guess what? There will be spoilers everywhere! <clears throat> uh, even in places where there are spoiler channels, um, people are going to post spoilers. Um, so I would just recommend if spoilers matter to you and that you must avoid them, avoid the Noid, because you're old enough to remember that, um, I would say stay off social media until you have an, a chance to see it. Um, and don't yell at anybody who talks about it enthusiastically, who doesn't do spoiler tags or whatever, because, I mean, as much as the courtesy of using spoiler tags is preferred, we know people are going to be really excited and they'll, they'll forget. And it won't be like a deliberate, like, oh, I'm going to roll into your DMs and suddenly, um, tell you all the spoilers. Now, if you do that, then you're a jerk, but... <clears throat> And that's really, the thing is, there's a difference between, like, the Peter Jackson character assassination of Faramir, right? Uh, and, you know, honestly, the fact that I, we were a lot more concerned about Peter Jackson doing the Lord of the Rings movies than I'm about these two guys. Because we have different, different social media presences and we have people that, you know, have talked to these people. And have talked to the, you know, the actors. I mean, <clears throat> apparently several of the actors of the show have been following Professor Corey for quite some time. And the showrunners have acknowledged that they have uh, paid attention to uh, his classes I and shit. Gave me my life, both mercy and 
punishment. Okay, so we're gonna take the ring. Give us the ring. We're gonna replace the 400. <sighs> the only time you were able to actually speak from beyond your 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 status as a statue was when you spoke to him at the Anvil Winterstith. I deem you are his close advisor. Okay. I am conflicted. I'm going to take a look at the epic again on the wiki. Durin's has come to a decision. He's going to have to wait until I look something up real quick. <coughs> Pardon me. So we have, we are in chapter 11 and this is the last chapter of the legacy of Durin and this Trials of the Dwarves. There is an epilogue. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to pick up the epilogue. These are all 140 quests, but as I'm 135, I should be able to pick them I up. I have decided. I swear to fight for you, my friend of old, my king, for as long as I am able. It seems the conquest of Gundabad will succeed or fail by nightfall. All right, let's do it. The time has come for me to call for Duero Moot. Where am I? It's gonna be cool. Mm hmm. Go to the thing fold. Let's go, Duero Moot. Because, of course, there was an end moot. <clears throat> I, the only one of the Alien movies I managed to get all the way through, or at least part of the way through, was Alien 3. And the only reason I managed that was because Paul McGann was in it. Oh, man, the Warcraft movie. And I like the guy who directed it. David Bowie's son, Duncan, directed that movie. But it was a disaster of a movie. It's not a disaster on the part... <laughs> Pardon me. Of the original Dungeons and Dragons movie. Though, I'm actually kind of looking forward to how fucking silly the new D&D movie's gonna be with Chris Pine as the bard. Oh my god, that guy can be silly. I still find it funny that Chris Pine is doing Star Trek stuff. Uh, and his dad did Star Wars stuff. His dad was also the cap- the police sergeant- captain? The boss? He was the boss on Chips, Frank and uh, Punch and John's boss on Chips, Chris Pine's dad, Robert. But his dad, Robert, was also the voice of Master Orgus Din, the Jedi Knight trainer. Yeah. yeah. Which is, I find it, it's like, why do I know this voice? 
And I was like, Robert, like, who was that? Chris Pine said, like, what the fuck? <laughs> it was hilarious, actually. <sighs> oh, the secret stairs. Up, up, up we go. And we're only going to go for another half hour, and then we're going to call it. Um, because my tummy says I'm hungry, so I'm going to go make me a snack of some kind. I haven't decided what I'm going to eat, though. Um, I do have, I have blackberries. Um, but I was thinking of using them as a snack during my work shift tomorrow. Um... I have been thawing a big slab of, um, of marbled beef, uh, some blade undercut roast that, uh, I'm going to put in a brine, a marinade, And we're going to make beef bulgogi stuff. What am I doing on the, the report? Ooh, I got my 1K thing. Heck yeah. And I get another coffer. And, yeah. What did you discover beyond those secret stairs? Ooh, blueberries. I got all the <laughs> <coughs> Okay, so we got to go to all of these places. Talk to one of these folks here. Talk to Prince Ingor at Merigrin. Talk to Glowin at the Steep Set. Uh, and talk to Emok on the western shore of the Lake in Blooming Tarn. Okay. Well, we talked to Broen here. We're going to cheat and portal our way to the Vernozzle. Um, what else did I get for snack? I didn't really get- I didn't get much for snacks this time around. Actually, I do have, um, a strawberry and chocolate Kit Kat. It's one of those Kit Kat duos. It's like half strawberry, half chocolate. I'm like, hmm. Maybe I should just have that for a little snack. I don't know. Okay, so we need to talk to Glowin, who's here at the Steep Set. It's right a big-ass pony. Also known as a goat. Totes my goats. I think the way I want to end my tenure on Honor with this character is to get to 140. So I can uh, pick up the raid quest from him. Because he's right here, but as you can see, I can't pick up the quest from him. Why does it look like I can fight something? Weird. Duaro moots. To think I should live to see another. Okay. So the last Duaro moot was uh, Thrain's Duaro moot. Yeah. Okay. you a moment I do I want to go to uh, Merigrin let's go to Merigrin first oh wait I don't have all of them hmm thought I had them all it's like Pokemon I was mistaken Okay. Mergren. Prince Ingor. Duero mood, eh? So, 
We come to it at last. Yes. Okay, Glooming Tower. And this is like a lot of content where there's not much going on in terms of fighting. I'm ignoring you! I'm ignoring you! I still love this big old honking mass of space. There's an elegance to it, I think. I mean, there's not too many- again, we were talking about the load-bearing members last night. It's like, there's this one, there's that one, there's that one. And then there's- not even like the Great Forge area has a load-bearing member. Yeah, that central pillar above the forge is not reaching the ceiling. And we've got like the two over there. That's it, everything else is just like- Somebody was talking in chat, I was like, uh, last night, I think it was a bookworm, I was like, yeah, it's just like a- It's just like a- an arch, it just holds together. Dweromut. Is that what it sounds like? Okay. <clears throat> and we get to go to Dweromut. I'm gonna take these other quests off my log. I'll deal with them later, because I will have to do more questing um, on the side to get to level 140. Also gonna have to do some missions. We're gonna be bored of missions. Um, gonna run, gonna try to run some instances like the Den of Puglock and whatnot. <clears throat> Get super trippy and, uh, go, you know, with the frogs, I'm sorry, the toads, whatever the hell they are, with the freaking don't lick the toads thing. Yeah, that's gonna be, mm, I love that quest. <clears throat> because whoever is standing stone was pretty... I'm not gonna cast dispersions, but I think somebody was. Let's just put it that way. Probably, yeah. I don't... Probably not, actually. So it's hard for me to find the stable master when I have knee plates turned yes. off. Okay, we're going not to Felgot. <coughs> we're going to. Uh, not Felgot, but we want to go to. Ibek Boozeru. Yeah. Alright, yawn. Thank you, thank you! I'll go kill things while you go sort out some more dwarves. It'll be fine. It'll be great. That is not an orc. Nor is it an Angmarim. Neither is that. <clears throat> Wandering Ice Giants. 
Nor is that Drake. I might actually need to go out to the main thoroughfare. And all the goats. Totes my goats. Alright. <coughs> We're not even going to bother with those folks. on nameplate so I can see what everything is again. Alright, red quests, here we go! Don't want an ice grim, I don't want a wandering ice giant, I don't want a freaking cold worm, or a wolf, or a drake, everything except what I'm actually looking for. You, sir, come here. Got you. Okay, you. to full like a dingleberry be a little bit fun because you know dang it what are you doing up there you're a cultist hmm. let's hit you in the butt no oh. hi Roar. shoot this guy through the thing. Nope. Apparently not. I'm sorry, this lady. My bad. I didn't mean to misgender you. That does not look pleasant. One of these drakes are just like, I don't care. You're not one of my people, I don't give a hurt. That's a drake, that's a drake. <clears throat> that's a grim, that's a bear, that's a goat. That's an orc. What a dork. Okay. Saber tooth. How 
dare you deflect my heart seeker, you jerk! How dare you! And that's really the difficult part of, you know, doing the higher level mobs, is that they will deflect your bigger shots. Hobgoblin hunter. Well, you're orc kind, so you count. Come here, you. Hell yeah. Heartseeker to the face always ruins somebody's day. Now the thing is, y the smart play is to actually kill everything. Even the mobs that you're not actually after because a lot of them will share the same spawn points as the ones that you want. So what can often happen is that you keep killing the things that you want to kill, but they'll respawn as something that you don't want to kill and it takes you even longer to find the stuff that you're looking for. Whereas if you kill something that you didn't want to kill or didn't need to kill, it's using the same spawn point is what you're looking for, then you can... Rude. Sometimes on the way back through you can get what you're looking for. One more orc. One more orc. Hello. Hello. Hmm. Okay, I just need one more Angmer. I mean, they're typically down this way. <clears throat> Got 15 minutes, though if we're getting close to the end of the story, I might actually finish out the entire story. Because <clears throat> I have an hour between the end of the, the normal end of the show and what I normally do on Saturday nights, which is listen to the Bards, Beers, and Longbeards, the naughtiest band on Landerval. At the Prancing Pony, as you do. See? You notice how this one responded as an orc, that respond as a frost giant, this respond as a... a warrior. About to get his ass kicked. Alright, let's go talk to Durin at the Thingfold. We're still not done! 57! It is time for Dweromoot. Are you ready, my friend? Yep. Everybody's gonna be like, who the hell's that weird dwarf with no beard? Longbeards! Shelruka! Stout axes! Hear me now! I call for Dweromoot! <coughs> All of you know why 
why we are here. This is a sacred place. A dwarf place. This is Gundabad. Notice Mozog is called Newcomer. <laughs> you notice we have some dwarves wearing gear that we remember from, like, you know, a Zanul Bazaar, like these guys over here. Like this one particularly. Yeah, Bori. Most of us have known only stories of the mountain home. But those tales are as well known to us as the names of our near kin. I called for dwarves to take back Gundabad. Not just longbeards, but dwarves. And this be the response. Dwarves of every clan, from the far reaches of Middle-earth. Can anything be more clear than this? Hear me now. Gundabad belongs not only to the Longbeards, but to all dwarves. Is this not so, Ingor? Aye, Durin. This is wisdom indeed. Some among my people doubted you would see it. Not I, of course. Of course. <laughs> Agent Brinkman! Hello! How are you doing? What is that? Ah! The dragon. Foolish insects. Everything you have done has been to my desire. Lies! It was I who whispered poison into the ears of your prince beside the anvil of Winterstone. It was I who urged him to march on Gundabad too soon, without time enough to ready his forces. Now, it will be the death of his people. Not the voice of the dragon. These falsehoods have no power over me, worm. And neither do you. Heck yeah. For I am Durin the Seventh, the Durin of old, reborn anew. So there, it Hanel. matters not. The armies I command. Do not have the will to resist my voice. Do you hear that? We will be surrounded. Chicken. Boop, 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 boop. Give me all the updates. 
We're almost done with the stream, though. I might have to. What just happened? <laughs> How is it you wield that hammer? What is your name, stranger? He is a dwarf, and he fights for Gundabad. That is enough. All right, let's go. The voice of the dragon. I have actually fought the dragon already on uh, on a couple of my ults, actually. Uh, no, actually one. I've only taken my, my main through a couple of different times, though. Durin. Kremil's armies approach. Now, the fate of Gundabad will be decided. Mozart must reach the peak. We'll help him. Oh, don't give me. <sighs> hold that thought. All right, hold that thought, Prince Duran. Here's the problem that I have. I need to spend some ancient script. Actually, I need to spend a lot of it. Here's what we're gonna do. We're going on a side quest. I am going to do something chicanery related. I am currently using a kind of a red and blue hybrid build. Mainly red. Well, a smidgen of blue. And that one little thing in yellow. However, Agent Brinkman, I seem to recall that you really, really, really liked making uh, Trapper. I was kind of thinking maybe I could do just for funsies. Because I already have both red and blue line hunters over on Landy. Which is where this character is going to go. I wonder if I could just make a yellow line Trapper. Hmm. And see, that's the thing, Agent Brinkman. If you enjoy it, and you're playing either by yourself or with a group of your friends who don't care, then who gives a shit what you play, right? I'm sorry, I should wash my mouth. Is your, is your kiddo around? I don't want to swear around somebody and their kid, right? <laughs> Dude, it's kind of late. <clears throat> so, we're going to do something fun. We're going to take a side quest. We're going. Guess where we're going. We're going to Rivendell. We're going to go... It's all about having fun, right? So here's what I need to do first is I need to... I'm actually using my second one. I'm going to respec... Why do I have two red lines? What the hell, Druid? Oh, no, this is... Oh, I went full... So I went full blue line on this one. Um, so I'm going to respec this one. Because I think the reason I wanted blue line is because I love... Shot through the heart and getting eviscerate because it's a lot of fun. But I think we're going to... We're going to respect this. Yes, I, I will spend the one gold coin and whatever. Let's spec three. Let's do this. Blue line is best line. See, Louis, I, I would agree with you. And yes, I only have 84 trait points. Don't hate. <clears throat> Let's build this. I always get that. More dots! More dots! Um, so we're doing the trapping thing, so I have to think about the traps. Oh, let me get this out of the way. Physical, tactical mitts. I do want combat traps. More trap damage for the win. Um, and that will get me to evade chance. That might be good. Um, but I want to focus on all of the 
Rain of Thorns? Yes. Damn! Look at that damage! I like that. You go orange, mostly red with some yellow. Fair. Hmm. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> That's nice. And be a debuffer. Um, let's see. Yeah, we can blow stuff up. That's always fun. Age grace period. The one trap. It's like the one ring. <laughs> okay. Emergency preparations. Okay. So we're going to need some more damage while we're at it. Orange crit chance, bow inductions. Um, I do kind of like having the fast draw, I'm not going to lie. But I do want to get the range damage, so. Those ten points. Press onward, give me my damn heals! Hell yes, I need my heals. Bonus application. <laughs> Okay, we got the fast draw stuff. And Heart Seeker is my friend. Um, don't really care for a split shot though. Hello? <coughs> Swift bow damage. Mmm, that could be tasty. But I also like induction bow damage. And the crit multiplier is also really good. I think I will actually... Take split shot. Actually, taking this would be a smart play because that will be an endurance stance a lot. And one more skill someplace else. Let's cap that off. Okay. <clears throat> so now that I know what skills that I'll be looking for, uh, let us hie off to... to Rivendell. We'll be back, Dwart Durin. Let's go! And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna buy the, um, the stuff. I'm not gonna actually slot it just yet. Um, tracery. 
Um, I have two tracery tokens in the vault. Um, what I don't want to do is actually use tracery boxes because I need to actually spend down my uh, my stuff. So the momentum part for what? And I'm gonna need to fix my uh, my bars. It's just my bars. We're gonna finish the story. I, I will stay after class. Hmm, pun intended. Because I get to hang out with Agent Brinkman. How often did that happen? Not often at all. <clears throat> I wish they really had, um... Had a thing in the listing of all the traceries and whatnot um, that would allow you to. Um... No, you're not terrible. You're just. You've got a kid and you've got a husband and you've got a big honking job that's super exciting and a new house and all kinds of friends to hang out with. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go down to get me a hunter's thingy. Guardians. Oh, Hunter. Okay. <clears throat> so being an elf, Hunter Sword of Legends is the way to go for your uh, for your sword. Because you get the sword. Well, I get the sword damage from being a high elf. So let's take that. And give me a bow. Any bow. Hunter Bow of Legends. Boop. Girl boss is not as cool as it sounds. Lotro is better. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. Okay, and now uh, let's reforge these two. Um, what are we gonna call the? Well, I I need to make sure that I I know which ones are which. So hunter sword. I'll call it yellow sword. All right. Because. I'm a dork and like to name things after old stuff. So yellow bow. Don't eat the yellow bow. That way I remember. Do you remember? I do not. Okay, so what we have here is we have boxes. We have boxes. What are in the boxes? I didn't want that button. I want that button. Okay, so we have seal tracery. No. Uh, no, no, and no. How about this? Well, we'll take those. Mm -hmm. How about this? Nope. Nope. I know I had tracery boxes. I know I had tracery boxes. Did I give, which help did I give them to? Oh, I can't search inventory that way. How rude of it. Here's how we're going to do this. Boop. Alright, what is Quicksilver got in... Uh... Wow, look at all that crap. Okay, so Quicksilver hasn't apparently opened anything. Uh, that's not helpful. Um, who might have it then? Well, see, the problem is if Ilris no longer exists on the server, so she doesn't have it. <clears throat> She's on Landy now. Um, does Kyrian have it? Nope. Who the hell did I give all that stuff to? Stop it. Uh, Kyriana? Got mm, some stuff. No. Nope. Okay, we're gonna search tracery. That's not how you spell tracery either. Uh, and we're gonna search all characters everywhere. That seems weird. That seems very weird that I don't have any tracery tokens. That seems very bizarre to me. 
Okay, let's open up my shared storage. All right, let's look. Shared storage. See, I have a uh, surfeit of ancient scripts, so it's kind of want to want to burn them down. I just took some stuff out of here too. Oh, hey, I can clean some stuff out while I'm here. Which character did I put the things on? You know what? I also need to put this new ring on. Duh. Uh, I said it was going to take the place of the yellow ring. Holy crap! That boosted my uh, my morale pool. That was pretty cool. Okay, seal tracery rare. No. Uh, tracery no. Uh, figments and embers go. Hmm. I don't even know where I should put them in there. Okay. Um. Tracery goes there. Tracery goes here. Um. I really should not keep the boxes, the loot boxes, but you know what? Don't care. Don't care. Eventually I can use that ring. But that is not this day. Mm, more ancient script because I have way too much ancient script as it is. Uh, da -da 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 -da. <sighs> It is actually going to bug me until I figure out who has what and where. Don't I have three tracery things? I have a pile of cosmetics. I uh, see so have seal trace. Oh, tracery token incomparable. Hello, nurse. And hey, that's where I kept my other chest of things. Well, okay. So that's where those are. And I got my first hanging banner of Gilgalad. I'm so excited. I have my Hobbit dance here as well. So, ooh, I can claim 57 so I get more enhancement runes and more enhancement runes. Okay, let me get my tracery token here. Boop. And boop. So, Shattered Gundabad Traceries. Mm-mm-mm. Ooh, maybe I should look for shattered. Or cracked. And shattered. Uh, nope. And cracked. I have cracked. Uh, nope. So it looks like I'll only be able to buy two thingies. Alright, well let's do it. Let's do this. Let's go spend some, uh, spend some stuff here. Hoppa Dance 4, the most important dance. No, that's Hoppa Dance 3 is the one you're thinking of. Hoppa Dance 4 is the one that comes from the festival. Okay. Um, let's go to, uh, the Incomparables. And I, again, am a hunter. So, for a trapper... Uh, do I want agility, vitality, physical mastery? Or do I want... That's not it. That's not it either. Sparrow. So do I want agility, more vitality, or do I want... Do you stop it, Druid? Do I want more agility, or do I want more vitality? Hmm... Or I can mix and match. Currently, I have Serpent here, Sparrow there. So right now I'm mix and matching. So I, I think I can do that again, just for giggles. So we'll do one Serpent, one Sparrow. In honor of my dear friend Sparrow Alden. All right. Okay, we got those. Now let's get our words of craft. And let's spend them. Spend them. 
Okay, so here's the interesting thing, and now we're uh, we're getting close here. Um, they did actually put a heroic precision set bonus. So right now, Ascendant Light. Is not the best option anymore. What was the option we had before? I think everybody was like, you should choose a sun and light because holy crap. So we're using heroic precision on um, the ones I have now. But I think previously we were told you should get something else because of the crit rating. And I think it was the Ascendant Lightning because it would give you the 29,000 crit rating for this four set bonus. But we don't need those anymore. Now I want to get the Heroic Precision. So the crit rating is not quite as high on the set bonus. But the crit rating is really, really high on the front end of each one of those. And it's not here. I mean, well, it is the same. On the light, on the lightning. The lightning will get you more crit rating. I should get you a substantial greater amount of crit rating, in fact. Hmm... Lightning, obviously, was for your Lightning Rune Keepers, and Light was for your um, Minis, and Frost was your Frost Rune Keepers, and Flame was for your Flame Rune Keepers. What was the other one? Uh, Heroic Alacrity? That's if you wanted Finesse Rating. Greater Resistance. So, yeah, these other ones... Did they put set bonus? They didn't put set bonuses on the Exemplary ones. Or the Empowered ones. So there's no point in getting, like, anything from Empowered at all, or Exemplary at all, because you don't get a set bonus. You want the set bonuses. Like that Grand Willpower, hello. Grand Armor? Grand Armor, look at that. Phys look at those physical mitts. Mm. Anywho, anywho, um, so Heroic Precision. The plus 3% crit chance... Hmm, I think, I think I'm still going to go with the Ascendant Lightning simply because that crit rating is, hmm, that crit rating is the bomb diggity. Okay, so we need four of these. One, two, three, four. All right. <clears throat> and what else do we need, kids? We need, um... Three, and then the other one has two, so three and two, total of five of the words of power. Let's go to the one. Now, okay, this is where we're going to get a little bit, a little bit weird, is this is where we're going to figure out what we want to do. So, area of effect, criticals and damage are generally good when area of effect target count, also a good choice here. Um, more dots, more dots, always good. Uh, but on the second page, we have um, skill induction speed is generally one I like to have. Because not only do you get that percentage of the skill inductions, you also get the physical and tactile mastery rating. Mm -hmm. So, and since I have some induction skills on this build, I'm going to definitely want that. So let me get that. And so I need four more. And so what I'll probably do, <coughs> pardon me, is get my single and single target attack damage and crits. Thief Kitty says hi again. Hi. Meow. Meow. 
and then get more dots over here. Um, I mean, the era effect target count can help, but I think I like the damage more. So we're gonna get damage and more damage and damage and more damage. Okay, so we got those and now we're going to um, remember to put this crap in the bank because I'm not good. I'm going to need space here soon. Okay, let's turn names on so I can actually find my damn things again. The Lord Master, Runekeeper, hello, respected warrior of the great whatever. The Yornings, Hunter is over here. Bala. What level are you, Bala? I want to know. I'm curious. You're 134. Almost like me. I'm a higher level than you. Neener, neener, poodoo. Okay, so... <clears throat> Let's do our 131s. Rare. Rare. Okay, so remember, we are going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we need 12. Um, so we still have Heart Seeker. I do want to get Explosive Arrow Damage because I do have that now. So we're going to boost that. One. Two. Uh, since I do have some induction skills, I want to get those two. Three and four. Um, I also want to get the press onward because press onward. Uh, quick shot. Do I have quick shot on this? I have improved quick shot. Hell yeah. So. We have Theseus Interruptus. Hi. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're being good. You're being good. Okay, so we have five. Um, we're going to get quick shot damage. Six. Um, let's go to page two. Um, we got swift bow, right? Trap damage! Hello! Trap damage. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I don't have upshot, so I don't need to buy that swift bow. Do I still have swift bow? I think I do. I do have improved swift bow, so yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to be using strength uh, stance. I'm going to be using endurance. Um, oh, see, you're pretty. Except strength stance will get me some... Holy shoot. Look at that crit rating from strength stance. Hello? Hi. Um... I do like um, endurance stance because um, it helps you keep power and quick shot returns morale. Honestly, that's one of the best things to have and the evade chance. So I like endurance stance. Though strength stance, if we can't find anything else, that can still be useful. So one, two, three, six, seven, eight. So I have four more to go. Four more to go. Hi. Um, we're not going to use Barrage, Mini Thonas, Burn Hot. Do I still have Burn Hot? I don't think I have Burn Hot. Hi. So I think you have the trait for that, yeah. Cry of the Hunter Bubble. Ah! That could be useful. Distracting Shot, Cooldown Resistance. Learn how to spell druid. 
Okay, I do have distracting shot, so I could get distracting shot cooldown and resistance reduction. It doesn't do direct damage, though. Um, got that one. Got, hi. Got those two. Merciful shot. Do I still have merciful shot? I don't think so. I have to... I do have it, actually. So, let's get that. I've got a kitty, Tommy. One, two, three, four. Well, you know what I should do? I should just do it this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. So three more. Needful haste duration. Precision, quick shot critical chant, but we're not using precision. It's, uh, right, we don't have range. Kitty's getting his tummy tickled. Okay. So. Could get the hunter bubble, though. And make the bubble even better and get much better evade rating. That could be useful. Let's go back to page two. I think what I'll do is I'll get the two uh, strength ones and then I'll just switch off strength and endurance as the situation needs. I think that'll do good. So we'll take that, we'll take that, and then we'll go back and get Cry of the Hunter. Cry of the Hunter bubble. Yeah. Focus bow crit, rocket fire, induction bow crit, induction bow. Lingering wood da- oh, hello. Lingering wood damage? Wait, do I have lingering wood? I should do. I do have that as- oh, that's a yellow line specific. So, yeah, yeah some boys and girls. Yeah. Yeah, we're, that's a bleed. We're gonna get that happiness, so there we go. So I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, so let's put all this crap in the bank. We're going to build this later because it's almost 1130 and I want to finish the story. Ugh. So I can go hang out with the bards, beards, and long beards at the Prancing Pony over on Landerwell. Uh, let me go turn in a couple. Uh, let's see, we're going to go. Where's my thing? There's my thing for the bank. My vault is full. Yeah, my vault is super full. Okay. Hmm. Okay, shared storage. Hey, look at that. Got some space in shared storage. Hell yeah, let's use it. All right. Let's put all these in here. I don't think I'll actually need any of this bank space, quite frankly. I don't think there's much of the story left. And I don't think we're going to get much stuff from the story. We'll put these in here just to get them out of my inventory. Oh, man, my nose. Cat hair all over my nose. I've got cat hair all over my nose. Alright, that'll do us. Let's get back to the party. Let's go back to Durin. Not sure what that has to do with what's going on here. All right, let's get back to our party, and I do need to go back to Red Line. Watch the game live when I do that. And let me put my, uh, my stuff back on. Boop. All right, let's go back to the central walk and loss. Go talk to Durin. And we're going to finish the story. What 
I get the weirdest non sequiturs in my channel? Let's go! And I'll go build those weapons off stream at another time. Or actually, maybe my next stream or the next time I play, which will be probably this week. Because I, I do want to get to 135 soon so I can you know, get this character safely transferred off to another server. Go Where? And hurry. Our time is running short. The last gray mall. The two of you must reach the peak. I still don't know what the hell you're talking about. And I frankly don't care. This way. <clears throat> All right, let's go kill us some orcs. Making friends. You leave Mozart alone, he's got a destiny. You have a destiny. This is a weird part of the thing and that I really don't like it. I don't think anybody likes this bit. It's very weird. We must reach the top before the setting of the sun. Yes, because you notice Mozog like you click on Mozog and his face is like blue, like he's dead. And this is where it gets weird. Forward. Keep climbing. And it's like, how do you maneuver? It's like, you maneuver like you normally would. Like, you know, Wazd will take you, you know, the like your character. It just You just have to picture your character using Wazd. But it's still kind of weird. There we go. That's much better! Thank you, Standing Stone Games! Zarzan, how you doing? Haven't seen you in a while. Then come, friend of Dorian. Well, there is still time left. What Little. are you doing here? Did I not warn you, Ruvaran? This is the Black Stone Anvil of my friend Durin. It belongs to me now, and will be the centerpiece of Angmar's ascension. Been okay. Streaming when some occasionally. Etching these runes Working for Cory. Causing trouble. We will use it to bring down the mountain. How dare you deface that? The enemies of Angmar will be swept away. We don't care about Angmar. Stand aside 
I have business with your master. The dragon is not my master. I serve Angbar, now and forever! Never actually played this at Wonder Level, so this should be interesting. At least I don't have to worry about Mozart dying at this point. He's got plot armor! <laughs> he fell over, go boom! of you to deflect my heart seeker again we must hurry these cultists have delayed us too long I'm can I get my health back please I remember <coughs> you dwarf. how is it you still live I fight for Durin the true lord of Gundabad. Gorgar, put an end to this creature. He's gonna whoop your ass. This is some foul dwarf magic. I want nothing to do with it. Slay him yourself. Gorgar, I command it. I will not join my brother in death for you. I refuse. You cannot refuse. This is gonna get spicy! Oh no, don't lag now, don't lag now game. That was not the time to lag. Hunter tank, hell yeah. Hunter leggy tank. keeps you alive has nearly fled I have only to wait no see how weak you become 
Hit him! Friend of Doreen. Follow me. Hit her! Hit her in the face! What are you trying to do? Hiding will avail you nothing. Stand behind the anvil, friend of Dorin. I can reach you from here. Her breath is pretty cool. Pun intended. What are you doing? Hit it! Hit it! All I can! That was cool. That was super cool. Not gonna lie. The dragon's cowardly escape has broken the spirit of her armies. Now, <laughs> the 600 isn't gonna hurt quite so much. Let all take up the cheer. Oh, sure. Now I get one of these. Mm. I'll probably trade out, like, trap damage and get a... Yeah, actually what I'll do is uh, get a trap damage um, uh, scion. That sounds like a great idea. Look at that! Look how pretty this is! Doran has agreed that the Jaroka will have a place in Gundabad. And I am satisfied. Aww. I will help you. Bozy! We have the victory! Gundabad is ours! <clears throat> Aww. He thought Broker was with us. That's so nice. So sad. Glowing. We have done it! There is still a dragon to manage. It will be managed. Let's go talk to Venko in Emok. When we set out from Scarhold, did you think this is where our journey would lead? Oh, so good. Are all such Duero Muts so eventful? <laughs> you should have told me we'd invite the dragon and her friends. <laughs> Bori. You should have seen it. Ah. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh. Now you're you're on the make. I see. You made it. Oh. Fosterth and Deer Brown. Oh. Oh. Call it the courtship. Hello. <laughs> when first I came to Elder Slade, I asked you to keep a secret for me. Do you remember? This 
this was a great victory for the Longbeards and for Prince Durin. Mm -hmm. You know what that means. So Stali is an idiot. We have proven that Stali is an idiot. And now we're about to cry. This is very sad. Beautiful also, because it's got- they, they whipped out the really awesome sunset for this. My day is nearly up, friend of my friend. The sun is setting. Alright. <clears throat> this one's worth a screenshot. Alright. Let's go talk to Durin. Farewell, Botok. This is also a pretty nice look at area. <sighs> I think this is why I saved my last mithril coin, because I'll have to talk to Durin down in the basement. I must thank you again, my friend, for all your help. Okay, Gundabad is ours! And we get a cloak that I can't use for another 140 levels. I'm sorry, for another 5 levels. It'll be fine, though. Where has Mozart gone? Oh, and I get another one and more ancient script. The day was ended. Nice. Alright, let us do the thing. Oh, and I can't use a mithril coin to get there. Well, damn it. Well, looks like we're gonna take the scenic route. Give another class trait point, which is pretty cool. Have you a moment? Uh, nope. Let's go to the Pit of Stone Jaws. And turn in the epilogue. <coughs> now, just remember, we were told that there aren't any special finishing the story uh, titles or cloak or anything uh, on on or so we'll see once we finish the epic here in just a few moments look at the giant bats Look at the hobgoblins. And even more hobgoblins.
Rude. Let's get back to where we're going. Meh. <laughs> We've got a story to finish and I've got a server to help. Inside we go, and then down, down to the Goblin Town. All right, <clears throat> a long ride ahead. Let us go quickly, because I want to see the end of the story. Oopsie. We're almost there. I do like those uh, markers. Those are pretty cool. They remind me of something I saw in Final Fantasy XIV, actually. <coughs> if you know who Moen Buddha is, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I deem his time is short. <coughs> <coughs> This is the sad part. Mozart. Once I called you friend and once enemy. Let us part now as friends. Oh. He 
is gone. <clears throat> oh man, made of lions, you're making me cry. Okay, so that is official. There is no reward. Got five Locha points, though. I got Musins from Durin. And you get the Mosaic, as on the regular servers. And there's a big old honking letter. I'll detach the item and read the letter on the wiki. So that's it. Uh, Standing Stone did not fib. There are no rewards for finishing the story on a legendary. So I imagine there's also no reward for finishing the story uh, or for getting level um, 140. I imagine somebody would have already commented on it. But anyway, it's time for me to go watch the Bards, Beards, and Longbeards over on Langevall. And I thank you all for being here. Uh, I'll be back on the official DDO stream on Thursday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And then on the official Lotro channel is sometime after 3. Because Professor Corey will be back. And will be streaming his Grifflet stream on Friday on the official Lotro channel. And yeah. I'll be back here next week doing some more chicanery. Don't know what I'll be doing. We'll figure it out together. Might be. I might go back to doing the catch-up completionist. Who knows? We'll find out. Anyhow, you know the drill. Be good. And if you can't be good, be good at it. And I hope to see you soon. Agent Brigman, hit me up on the discords if you want to tell me all the cool things. Though I do follow you on, like, all the things. And I see your stuff on Facebook all the time. So... If it's already posted there, then I will probably not have read it because Facebook's algorithm is garbage. <clears throat> but I'll go look for it. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye now.